don't want us in your house. Yeah. <laughs> no, I actually would. I would but really? although I'd have you want to trade? I'd have to I don't know, maybe. Just for a little while I'd like to. We have to do it at least two days. Oh. <laughs> now, do, do you, first of all, the show is a huge, huge hit. I was joking around, but some of those, just, you, you gotta admit, some of them, or they're sorry. <laughs> well, you know, I hear all the time, I love it when they hate it. And yeah. I think one of the reasons that people love it so much when they hate it is because it's actually very rare. Right. And most of the time we see tears of joy. For and sure. it has really has taken off, and I take a lot of pride in the fact that I think we sort of, kind of were the catalyst for this new genre of television, transformation television. And you were. It's, it's been really exciting, and we've even kicked it, kicked it up a notch. And we're doing this whole home free Well, wait, explain, just in now. case you haven't seen it, explain how the show works before well, you. Well, it's, it's two sets of neighbors, trade spaces, and they redecorate a room in each other's place. They have to do it in two days' time, and each team can only spend $1,000. But they share a carpenter, and they, they get it done. We have a cast of designers, and they're all fabulous. And it's, it's been incredible, and, and now we've, uh, we've really stepped it up because we've, we've got eight couples from the Orlando, Florida area, and they are all in the elimination competition where eventually, because America's voting in this eight-week-long competition, uh -huh. it's getting narrowed down to one last couple who's going to get their mortgage paid off. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Kid, how do you get in? What? Well, you know, you can is play. It, is Everyone it too late for me to get in? No. It's, it's, <laughs> It's too late for you to be in the competition, but it's not too late for you to win because um, as America's voting, if you vote online, you are registered to be involved in the sweepstakes and a viewer is also going to get their mortgage paid off. Oh! TLC wow. and the Home Depot, they have definitely kicked it up. Yeah, Home Depot's done a lot for us too. TLC, and so you go on, uh, t you get on the... On Discovery.com and click on TLC. All right. That's awesome. Does anybody, uh, Jeff, somebody, get on. Uh, <laughs> get on now. Uh, get on now. Yeah. We've got uh, six weeks left. Yeah. That's great. Now, uh, there's, there's one of the, this, the reason I brought up, to, you know, in the beginning of the show that some people aren't happy, because this one clip that I saw, this woman, uh, you know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> Well, there is the, the most infamous woman of all, all right. time, crying Pam. Well, all right. Well, just describe before we show the clip, because uh, she didn't want something touched. She didn't want her fireplace touched, which we did not touch. Uh -huh. We did not touch her fireplace at all. The designer, Doug Wilson, sort of got around that by building a facade around the, right. her fireplace. But the, she was quite I believe devastated. that's what she meant by not touching the fireplace. <laughs> I believe, and, and well, so... Well, that is your interpretation. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, so not only did they do that, but, well, you'll see the clip, but you have to pay attention, try to, to listen, because when she, she eventually, she walks uh, out of frame, yes. but she's still wearing a mic, so you can hear her reaction <laughs> in the other room, and it's a couple of times, so, so listen for what she does when she leaves the room. It's pretty painful. Yeah. I, guess, <laughs> I need a vacation after that. <laughs> yeah, because for the most part, really, you have to, it, that was just, it, like you said, it's so rare that that happens. They well, are. and the room was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It she, was really beautiful. It's just not what she had in mind. Well, and that's the whole point on Trading Space is that you right. get something that you wouldn't do on your own. It makes you branch out and, and step outside your comfort zone. Uh-huh. Comfort zone, yes. <laughs> That's the way to put it. Well, listen, I, I love watching the show, and uh, it's so nice meeting you, and, and I'm going to immediately try to get in, into this contest. Uh, you definitely should. Uh, we have to take a break. We'll be right back with more in a second. <laughs> We're back with Paige Davis, who just won a T-shirt. She was dancing <laughs> during the commercial break, and she got herself... Uh, so, uh, uh, you were telling me that there's uh, some hilarious things that happen. I mean, I'm sure you have stories like crazy, like you have in your book, page by page, by the way. Yes. Um, but tell me, tell me some of the crazier stories that have happened. Well, <laughs> the for very first thing that happened in our very first episode this season, which it made me want to write a whole other book, because page by page chronicles last season of Trading Spaces, we show up in Minneapolis, and Doug Wilson needs a new sofa. He wants a new sofa for the room. So he goes looking at all these thrift sh stores, and he, f he finds two sofas. They won't sell them separately. He has to buy them as a set. He buys them for $70, $69.99. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, under $70. Yeah, under, <laughs> under $70. And he's going to allow the, the team to choose which one they're going to use. So the producers get all the, everything set up on the front lawn. That's where we're going to do this scene where he presents the sofas to the two girls who are on his team. Mm -hmm. 
So it's all ready to go, and the crew starts coming out to get ready to do this. And the audio man, who was a, a local, steps outside, and all of a sudden he starts cursing. Like, if you were to type it, it'd be like dollar sign, asterisk, exclamation point, question mark. You know, what the book of what the hell were these sofas? Where did they come from? And it turns out that these sofas that Doug had bought for $69.99 that day, or the day before, he had just tried to get rid of in his mother's estate sale, and no one would buy for $8. <laughs> He dropped them off at this thrift store, and the Salvation Army turned around and sold them for $69.99 to Doug. They're always, they mark things up so high at yeah, Salvation they really Army. Yeah. They really do. Yeah. And he wound up not even using those two. He wound up using a whole other sofa instead. That, and indeed, no one would even take those two free off the curb. Oh, that's hysterical. So this poor guy, he's like, I, he can't get away from these stupid sofas that have haunted him his whole life. That's hilarious. That is so funny. Well, and you have more stories like that in, in your book, Page by Page. And, uh, and the, the show is very entertaining. It's uh, Trading Spaces. It's on Saturday at 8 o'clock on the Learning Channel. Uh, thanks for being here, Paige. We'll be thanks. right back. Don't go away.